Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six, he weighed 245. Kind of broad at the shoulder, narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John. Big Bad John, Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you took it all, you just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans, where he got into a fight over a cage queen. Crash and blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana dollar to the promised land. Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Then came that day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and their hearts beat fast. Everybody thought they'd breathe their last, said John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man made hell walk a giant of a man. The miners knew well, back a sagging timber. Gave out with a groan and like a giant oak tree just stood there alone, Big John. Big John, Big John. Big Bad John, Big John. With all of his strength he gave a mighty shove and a miner yelled out, there's a light up above. Twenty men scramble from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save Big John. With jacks and timbers, they started back down, then came that rumble way down on the ground. Gas and smoke belched out of that mine. Everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Now they never reopened that worthless pit, they just placed a marble stand in front of it. These two words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies one hell of a man. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big John. <laughs>